What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened and my full playthrough, all the way through the complete progression of the game. Now, last episode we got smacked down and it was not pretty, so we need to head back into the throne room to get the job done here this time around, but we're gonna get some upgrades going first, as we're level 20 right now. So first things first, let's hop in and take a look at our weapons. Let's see what we've got. Now, what can I use? That one's level 27. This one's level 20. Hmm, do I want a new minigun? I mean, that's a, uh, even without upgrading it, that is a, what, one-third damage increase in damage per shot. It is a little bit slower, though. And here's a staff as well. Man, I'm tempted to just get that staff going instead. Switch over to some Apprentice DPS. I think we're going to stay true on the Huntress though. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy equipped. And just like last time around, we want to go ahead and get it upgraded. Now, first things first, what can we upgrade? We got three points we can put into Fire Speed. That is good stuff, that's for sure. And everything else, of course, we want to go into ranged damage. So, let's leave our three points for our fire rate. Oh, I don't have enough gold. Wow, I've only got 140,000. All right, so let's take another approach here. We're going to have to stay under 140,000 until we get a little bit more gold. Let's see, there's five points. Does let, let me go two? No, it only lets me go one into fire rate. Let's go one more. And then there's two points into fire rate. Uh, that puts me at 129,000. That's all of our gold, but that is a significant increase over our previous weapon. You see, now we are just dishing out massive pain. Uh, 500, almost 600 DPS. We're not looking at our armor yet or changing our stat points. And then when we boost it up, oh yeah, we've hit the big time, y'all. Quadruple digits. Now let's take a look at the gear that we have. Man, I can't wait to get that face melter going. Let's see, first things first. On our Huntress, we are using primitive gear. And let's see what we've got that we can use. So, what's going to be an upgrade? I'm mainly, of course, concerned about the defense stats. So I've got a few pretty decent pieces. Some of this stuff I'm not even going to be able to use yet. That one, 343 three power. It's debatable, but it's pretty much a lateral move. So I'm not going to mess with that one. Let's see, power and range. Power, range, and rate. We've got two power, range, and rate, but losing 3 fort on traps, that's kind of a big deal. This helmet is just poo-poo. And then these gloves, four fort. I think four fort is greater than two fort one power. So let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. And that will help us out just a little bit. Now on our stats, let's uh, take a look at where we're sitting here. Where do we want to go with the stats? I'm feeling like uh, one point in rate, or pardon me, in fortify just to get our health up just a touch more. Um, let's go ahead and go three right into power there on that one. Now, the mighty, mighty squire. For some ungodly reason, I chose primitive stuff on the squire as well. That's probably not the best move, but we're just going to dump these four points right into the fort there. Now, how about the apprentice? We got a militia set. Let's see, do we have any militia upgrades? Let's check it out here. I like to sort by item power, just so I can see where everything's sitting. Let's see, two power, one rate. That's kind of a lateral move there. We got four power, three range, one rate. That right there is big time. So we will be taking that. Fortify range, rate. There's power in range. That one's debatable. And here we go, two power, three range. That is a nice upgrade. It's actually one more stat point than what I had between the builder stats on this one. So we'll go ahead and equip that bad boy. 
And do we have anything else worth looking at? Let's see. Fort, power, and range, but I've got that solid piece there. Same thing there, just don't wanna, I don't wanna let go. Now this one here, that is a big upgrade. Yeah, we can't, oh, actually we can get into the blues. Look at this bad boy. Fort, power, range, and rate. Wow, it's two more power, but everything else is a down. I think I'll stay away from that item for now. But the apprentice is looking pretty darn schnazzy. Now how about the monk? We never finished out a complete builder set on the monk, and we're using minor stuff here, so let's take a look and see if we've got a minor chess piece that the monk can use here. Is that all we're that's all we're missing, right? Let's see. What do we have for chests? Well, I mean there's one right now. Any chest will do just to get the set bonus. But let me look through and see if we have anything better. Fortify power, range, and rate. That's clear a clear winner over what I was using. That's not a bad PC. There's quite a few good pieces here. And might as well just peruse the rest of this gear too. Just to see if there's anything else. Power and rate, four and two. That's not terrible, but the piece I have is pretty good. Fortify power and range. Man, that's a step down in item power, but it seems like uh, I might be better off with that one as far as the stats go. Let's go ahead and use those boots. Anything else that's any better? Fortify power, range, and rate. I pick up an awful lot just to lose one power. I think I'll go with it. Actually, we're looking pretty solid here. Do we have any blues? Any level 20 blues? Look at this fat loot right here. Oh my. That is going to be equipped right away. Wow, that piece is almost even better. It's got one fort on it, which is nice. For one less power, but then it's got more range and more rate. So, let's take that one instead. And it looks like everything else is going to be locked out to me at a higher tier. Now, I've got a full set of gear now. I never filled... Or yeah, I filled out the Squire. I've got a full set of gear now. It is time, I think, to stop collecting greens so let's see let's choose just uncommon stuff all of just green armor and let's get us a little bit more gold in the bank 138k we can finish off our huntress weapon right there with that extra coin now what else i mean we've got a lot of locked pieces here Willing to buy hotkey. Let's just clear all of this stuff out and take that extra coin. Uh, remember, all of the gold you really get in Dungeon Defenders Awakened is going to be very similar to DD1's currency of mana, in that the majority of it is going to come from the gear that is just being sold off. Let's get rid of all that as well. Oh yeah, we are wealthy, wealthy now. Now let's take one quick look at the weapons, though and see if we've got anything usable on these Builder Heroes that has... Uh, well, I'm looking for Fort. I mean, I'm going to equip that just because it's better than what I already had. But, looks like that is it here. Uh, the Huntress we're DPSing on. How about the Apprentice? Two Fort, one Rate. It's free stats. Let's go, go. And then how about the Monk Aliciousness? We got one range. Well, one range is better than zero range, so we will take it. And then let's lock these blue pieces for now and just get the rest of this stuff out of our bag as well. I'm just going to get rid of all the greens at this point. Now, since we're to the point here where I'm pretty happy just getting rid of the greens, I also want to make sure to go in and change my loot filter. So we're now going to uncheck uncommon. Uh, we're going to start collecting a lot more coin per wave, but as far as gear goes, all we're going to get is rare items and higher that are auto-collected into our bags. Now, I do have points that I have yet to apply, so let's get it. Oh, look at me now at my 40 range. We are beast mode on this monk, there's no doubt. We're going full power on this one, and I think we might even get uh, some lightning, a little electric arc on now. Holy crap, Ola, look at this apprentice. Just screaming beast mode. 
I think these points, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and dump them into power as well. On the Huntress, we've got a pretty solid spread there. We've actually already spent the points. And then on the Squire as well, did they not level up? Hmm, very strange. No, we are all set. Anyway, let's get it. We're back to the throne room. It is time for some throne room redemption. Let's see what we can do. Now, I forgot to upgrade my weapon the rest of the way on the Huntress, so I'm going to knock that out real quick here, right before we get that started. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Let's just finish the upgrade. So we've got, what, one more point? And a fire rate. Yeah, so we just need to lose, or leave uh, one point for fire rate. So we're going two points here, and one point into... Oh, I can't get the last point into the fire rate. That's a bummer, but what can you do? We're going to go ahead and uh, just finish off that upgrade. It leaves us with 58k. We're going to be in great shape for the end of this one. Now, let's see. I'm going to basically build it the same way, though. I have no intention of changing. I actually think as bad as those flame bursts got beat on, though, I just may go with some electric R's instead of those flame bursts. So if we go Explosive Trap, Strength Drain Aura, and Electric Aura, I think we're going to be in pretty darn good shape here. And first things first though, we've got to get our wall situation all dialed in. So let's go ahead and get our walls down, we'll get some Explosive Traps down, and uh, get this all set up. Basically going to do the same thing. Now the only reason I'm going with the Auras over the Flame Burst I'm not even sure I'm going to yet, we're going to have to see, is just because of the way I've got this map walled, there will be some stray mobs walking around, and stray mobs, of course, equal smashed flame burst towers, so I may go ours instead. Let's see, we'll uh, block it up right here, and then I think that is all we've got left. Yeah, there won't be enough mana left to do any more traps. But, with our newfound power from this bad boy gun, oh yeah, we will get it wrecked. So, I mean, we should just be able to burn through these mobs like they're nothing now. We've actually got a little slightly larger clip. I think our last magazine was 30 rounds, and this one is what? 46? Oh, yeah, look at it go. Now, I got a little assist there on that explosive trap on that one, so I can't take full credit for the face roll, but you see it's a considerable amount of power difference here. We're getting it. We are getting it. Four mobs left. Yeah, where are they? There we go. We are good to go. So let's go ahead and go Explosive Trap. We'll get yet another Explosive Trap. And now our traps are squared away. What next? Well, let's get full repairs up on everything. And let's just uh, let's start off with the Auras. We know we want the Strength Drain. Strength Drain's just going to have to happen. So we're going to get the Strength Drain in there. In addition to that, I'm going to go with that Electric Aura as well. Let's see here, we want to get our Strength Drain as close to the ledge, to the left as we can. We're going to go with an Electric R right there as well. And then, that's going to give me decent coverage down below. I am concerned a little of whether or not they're going to hit the Ogres. So I'm going to have to watch that. Of course, I want, uh, I want these R's hitting Ogres. Let's see, we're going to have to go all the way over here now that we've got a little bit better range. Actually, almost to the point where we can get some real coverage with Aura's here. I'll be looking forward to that. Now, you know, obviously any Ogre that comes all the way down is not going to be getting hit by that Aura, but I will prioritize getting some upgrades on those Aura's, and hopefully that takes care of it. I don't think we're going to have enough left to do everything here. Let's see, let's go... Let's just go right here. 
And then, yeah, I don't have enough left for anything else. So let's just go ahead and burn through wave two now. If we have any problems here, it's without a doubt going to come on wave five. That's just how it's going to be. It'll be that uh, the big, massive ogre rush that is wave five is what will do us in if anything does. But I think we'll be able to achieve a good little bit of uh, throne room retaliation right here on this run. Just about there at the halfway point of the wave and oh yeah we're just chewing them up now now it's all about the ogre of course the flame bursts are hitting a little harder than the ogre or than the electric art is so i'm gonna rely a little bit on these traps for those ogres so i do want to make sure that i'm upgrading those electric cars however these two lower traps in the middle I definitely want to spend my mana there, as we know that is where the ogres are coming. So let's just make sure we do the right thing and get those traps good and healthy. Still actually have 17 left. Oh, I haven't finished building yet is why. Just a couple of bads left. Where are they at? Oh. We've got, uh, what, Archer Hell going over here, and then well, a couple of flyers, maybe. And just one more. That flyer's going to get tore up by those electric cars. There we go. So let's go ahead and finish out the build. So we needed what? We need another electric aura here. Let's see if we can't get, what, a Strength Drain... And an electric aura right here. I am trying to get those as close to the center as possible. And then... Let's upgrade all of the auras in the center traps. I did upgrade that one trap there. The rest of these traps I'm just going to repair. I'm going to upgrade the electric auras and the traps that are in the middle. That'll have some kind of ogre heat to them. Let's see, we're looking good here. We got 150 left, so I can't do too much more. I'm going to hit that. And do I have enough? No, nope, it doesn't look like I have enough to hit these R's here. So I'll have to catch those next wave, but wave two, or wave three, pardon me, should not be a massive, massive challenge for us. Oh, we are just wrecking it now, burning them flyers like they're nothing. No survivability, of course. No survivability is not a good thing. So, as soon as the Delphs start rolling out here at the end of the wave, it will be just... ugliness. Pure ugliness, no doubt. See, at the halfway mark here. So far, so good. But, you know, just like the last run, it's going to be the final wave that gets me. There's no doubt. If I get got, it's going to be the last wave. Just about there. Try to stay alive a little bit better this time. Let's stay alive, why don't we? Yeah, we've got lots of mana to play with now, so that'll let me get those all of the upgrades in place that I want. We still have 20 mobs left, of course. Gonna have to chew through these, but... We should be doing pretty darn good here. Crap, is that the one? I don't want to upgrade that one. Too late, I already did it. I wanted to upgrade this one, as I want to get these traps just all squared away here that are down at these walls. Now, I do have to remember, last time I didn't upgrade my Strength Drain Auras, and it came back to bite me. I'm t tempted just to go ahead and hit those Strength Drains right now. We got Wave 4, so I mean, we're only one wave away from all hell breaking loose. 
Let's see. Let's just go full repairs on the rest. I'm hoping there's enough left to upgrade these two traps. Oops. One more time that are in the middle there. See, we're looking good. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and hit this one with an upgrade. That'll give me a little bit more uh, survivability against those ogres. And then 82 left. That's more than enough for just some casual repairs. Yeah, we'll just repair both of these. I'll hit that electric aura next next wave, next wave. But here we go, wave four. We'll get our first little taste of ogreliciousness here on this one. But the wave four ogre shouldn't be too much of a problem. I do want to be a little more aggressive on the ogres this time and watch for them as they're coming out and make sure I get a little upfront damage on them. I'm hoping that these Auras are going to kill off these Dark Elf Warriors as they come running through. Okay, here comes our first Ogre. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get a little bit of damage on this guy up front. I'm not getting much on him, but you know, anything's better than nothing. That's practically nothing actually that we got on him, so not really a huge deal there. All right, better GTFO. We'll let this guy come on out and let that explosive trap do its work. Don't hit me with your boogers, please. Almost there, almost there. He's throwing at me. The explosive, the explosion range on the ogre snapballs is just over the top. Just crazy, crazy OP. It's like you have to just completely get out of the entire vicinity. And we got one more ogre over there. It is just about down. Let's see if we can't put the finishing touches on this guy. That trap is almost gone too. But it's GG. We got him and we are ready for one more attempt at wave number five. This, of course, was the downfall last map. I am hoping it won't be this map. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade these walls. And I'm going to upgrade that trap as well. Let's get just a little bit more pain going out right there. Everything else, I think, could deal, just deal with uh, repairs. But... If I don't have to really deal with the ogres, if I can just focus on maybe repairing walls, I think I'm going to be in way better shape overall. So let's get these fattened up just a bit. And what else? What else? We've got 300 left. I'm thinking I just need to hit this stuff right here. Almost lost that trap last time. We'll get, uh, eh, we'll just get the whole enchilada upgraded here. That leaves me 10. There's uh, a little bit of straggler mana. And here we go. It's redemption time. Wave 5. Let's get it. 622 mobs, of course. It's a big difference in mob count. Now, one thing I do want to do differently this wave, or this uh, run that I didn't do last run, is I definitely want to get a few more repairs on those traps, as these traps on the sides take just a beat down on this final wave, and I just let them all burn away, and that, of course, is, is no good. You know, you can't be losing your traps and expecting to win the map. That's just not how the game works. And here we go. Ogreliciousness is coming. Let's start dishing out the pain right here. We still got 400 mobs left, so, I mean, there is a lot of mobs coming still. Let's just see what we can. Oh, we're going to die right here, huh? We're going to be able to get this guy? Nope. Still got the death. I want... I'm hoping that these ogres die from the traps. And I don't have to worry about DPS at them. That is what would be just ideal. But if I lose the traps, then of course that is just not an option. So let's get all of these traps squared away. Come on over here, Dark Elf Warrior. You know you want to. Man. So much damage. 
These guys are just brutal. Now, I've already lost something. What did I lose? Did I lose my trap? No, I didn't lose the trap there. What did I lose? We've got 100 mobs left. I lost a trap right here, which I'm not even worried about anymore. These ogres, actually, they're going to die. The ogres are down. Yes! The ogres are down. So, quick repairs on uh, a few of these traps that are about to go, and we should get the W and remove that ugly scar, which was the last run in this playthrough. So, eight mobs left, seven, six, they're burning quick now. And you know, we are just about there. There is one more baddie, and it's flying. No, it's a mage. And there we go. We're now up to wave or level 22 now. The throne room is done, and we are all finished up with act number two. So time to move on to act number three and get this playthrough finished along. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, as most of you know, we've got Nightmare coming on Thursday. This video is probably actually going to go live on Wednesday night, but nightmare on Thursday. So the grind will be on on the main account. So thank you all once again. Hopefully everyone's having a wonderful week and I will see you all next time around. Take it easy.